Palisades Tahoe reported two avalanches yesterday at the Alpine Meadows area. We asked if there were any others today, but we haven't heard back on that. Meantime, avalanche experts will be closely monitoring conditions in the backcountry this weekend. Yes, they will. Meteorologist Heather Waldman shows us the outlook from the Sierra Avalanche Center. The Sierra Avalanche Center produces daily forecasts for avalanche conditions, specifically for the backcountry, where avalanche mitigation is not done. They do this by taking daily observations and tracing trends with the snowpack and weather conditions, including things like temperature, wind, and of course, recent snowfall. Yesterday, observers recorded and took photos of signs of a continuing risk for more avalanches in the backcountry, one of them being a weak layer within the snowpack. This photo here illustrates this. You can see the shelf here where some of the snow broke off and slid down. The weak layer is underneath it. That was identified on January 2nd. And as you can see with this photo, snow has been piling up ever since. Over the past couple of days, sections of that weak layer have given way, leading to some of those slides. Another concern is the forecast for more strong winds in the mountains this weekend, which could lead to more what we call wind loading on top of the steep slopes. You can see some of the snow getting pushed up and over the crest of some of these mountains. Again, both of these photos taken yesterday and shared with us by the Sierra Avalanche Center. Now they make a forecast outlook based on observations like this, and their outlook for Saturday shows a high risk for the Tahoe Basin. That is the second highest level of risk in their forecast. Forecast cites the potential for failures in the snow of up to two to six feet deep, and they specifically recommend making conservative terrain choices, even for the most experienced skiers and riders. Now the good thing is that more snow is coming on Saturday, and it'll be wet snow. Experts say that the higher water Water content in Saturday's snow could help to eventually stabilize the snowpack. We have a link you can use to check this avalanche outlook posted now at KCRA.com.